As we gaze upon the sea of trash from the horrible freight store, you might be asking yourself, does Chuck have any good clamps? Yes. I have one. Welcome back to Pale Dog Tool Company. Today, we are making clamp racks, and this video is going to be mostly the same as every other clamp rack video there is, with one tiny little bit of difference. First, when you look up clamp racks or see anything about them or see videos or whatever, there's basically two styles. One is a long piece of wood with slats cut in it, and then these just kind of go into those slots and then sit up against the wall, which I think is a massive waste of wall space. The second version is where they all stack on top of each other, which is uh, the kind that we're gonna do today. The difference is I've got a bunch of cheap clamps. I don't have a lot of them. I would like to get more. I would like to get better clamps. So instead of doing a rack that over time as I get different clamps, basically I have to remake the rack every time. So what I'm gonna do is small French cleat individual racks for each of these. That way when uh, uh, Chuck grows up and gets big boy clamps, all he has to do is I just add to it. I don't have to rebuild my clamp rack. So we're just gonna cut up some plywood and get to it. And uh, let's see if we can ruin a good song while we're at it. Sandman, you are so neat. Bring me some beer and something to eat.
All right, there we are. From uh, drawing to printed template to final product. Um, these were pretty easy to make. It was a little bit time consuming. Uh, if I was only doing one of these, obviously it'd go pretty quick, but I did eight of them, which means 16 of everything, which gets a little repetitious and drives you a, a little bit crazy doing that sort of stuff. But that's what I was talking about before. That's the thing that's different about this rack. Uh, this is the only one I've seen where it's specific. It's just for those individual clamps. So I can just grab the whole thing and bring it to my workstation or my workbench or do whatever I'm doing with it. And as I get more clamps and as I get better clamps and I buy some actual big boy tools, uh, I've got a bunch of these left over so that I can make the correct racks for them and I don't have to rebuild my entire rack. So yeah, that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. This seems like a good system for me, but I don't know, maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm an idiot. Until next time, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, goodbye. <laughs>